some reaction to today's game. CBS 19's Jeff Schaefer, the only East Texas sports reporter at the games down in Georgetown. He has the wrap up for a great day for Palestine and of course heartbreak city for Kilgore. Eric, three East Texas teams took the field here in Georgetown today at the UIL State Soccer Tournament, but the Palestine boys are the only one still standing. The Wildcats played Kilgore to a scoreless tie through regulation and overtime before winning in dramatic fashion in a penalty kick shootout. I was very impressed that I never saw us really waver. We, we were, we're just very mentally tough and we've trained hard and we've prepared for games like this. So I'm not really surprised at all that we can handle this kind of environment. You know, I, I love the pressure. I've always said that. And I'm a firm believer that, you know, those who can step up to the plate will do it. I believe, I think I stepped up to the plate today. The Kilgore boys played in the state tournament for the second season in a row and like last year fell in the semifinals. Head coach Austin Walker says his Bulldogs just didn't get the break they needed to reach the state finals. I told them to keep their head up and you know I thought we played outplayed them during the game. I, you know I thought we played good enough to win and you know ball just doesn't bounce your way sometimes. Kilgore's girls reached the state tournament for the first time in program history. And even though the Lady Bulldogs fell to a very talented Kennedale team, they say they have a lot to be proud of. We've accomplished a lot this season. We are the first to make it this far. It's just been such a phenomenal experience, like seeing how we got from point A, like at the beginning of the season, the first practices, how we transformed together as a team to something that's worthy of going to state. We've just improved so much and worked so hard together, and I'm just really proud of how we've just transformed as a team this year. In Georgetown, Jeff Schaefer, CBS 19 Sports.